but have the locks on the outside and there's nothing that really holds specifically the lock pawl directly against the lock mechanism right. itself. Whereas right here, you can see these two little slides right here, the slots, which is this lock ladder will slide down inside there and make sure that you have the proper engagement of the lock pawl to the lock ladder itself. Again, huge thing from a safety and reliability standpoint. And this also adds a whole lot more structural integrity to it. And then just looking at the unit itself is that this is the cross beam. So again, you have a basically a, a tube structure here, a five inch tube, lots of structural stability and support on that unit. Again, is very similar to what we use on our commercial grade 12,000 pound unit. The other thing that's very interesting on this particular unit compared to all the other units out there is that these are all mechanical lock mechanisms. So it means that you don't need air in order to actually operate this in your home garage. It's plug in the wall, 115 volt power unit, but the locks themselves to disengage, um, you use a manual relief or manual lever arm, which is shown right over here. And so it basically disengages the locks in all four corners. It's what's called a dead man control, which meets all the safety requirements for ANSI standards so that if for whatever reason you let your hand go, all locks in all four columns engage at the same time. Now the difference compared to ours, compared to everybody else's, is that, again, if I have this one lever right here, it's got to disengage four locks in each of the different corners. So, which means that there's a little lever arm here, and there's tie rods that run across inside this cross beam, whereas everybody else's has it on the outside. And so what that means is potentially that you get damage, and that is a safety device, which you use for pulling the lock right down here. So as I engage it, you'll see that the lock mechanism actually will disengage on both sides at the same time. So it does one thing, is it keeps that tie rod nice and safe, it's also from an installation standpoint for the home enthusiast, you don't have to do it. It's right. pre-installed in the cross beam when it comes there. And three, also just with a lot of, a lot of garages is that, again, this is where the front of the lift is gonna go right here. Well, there's not a lot of room to walk inside there. All the other ones would have that cross tie, tie rod on the outside here, catch your clothes on it, catch your arm on it, you know, you know injure yourself, et cetera. So, and then it makes a nice clean look to it. So that's just a little bit about some of the construction that makes ourselves different. Can you, uh, can you do me a favor? I started the recording after you had talked about the steel construction. Can you go back and just repeat that so that we'll have it recorded uh, on the video and just for people maybe who just tuned in to talk a little bit about the, the construction oh, of the unit again. Sure, again, if we just go back to the, the four basic, you know, I would talk about the advantages or the competitive advantages of a quality lift style product is that number one, the design and construction of it is basically our commercial grade type of four post unit. So from a safety and, re safety and reliability aspect is that just some things out there is like the thickness of the steel, the fact that it's a full size column here so that all of this, all of this is made out of the same design construction as we do our 12,000 pound four post and that we use all the design techniques and the safety requirements so they make it nice and safe, even to the point of having what's called a slack cable device here, so that you actually have two lock mechanisms, uh, double security inside this column right here. So this construction is exactly meeting the ANSI standard so that if you ever had a catastrophic failure of the, the cable, these springs automatically engage